hey guys welcome back to your youtube channel so people are now deliberating on the post made by Tony Bram about squashing beef and eliminating competition in the nollywood industry we all know that well that's not going to be possible at the same time everyone is happy to see that Tony and funke eventually squashed their beef totally and then she's taking it upon herself to share on social media that well there shouldn't be any enmity or competition if there's going to be any competition it should be an healthy one now, people are saying it's just based on inferiority complex that's why tony is coming out to say all this and of course she knows way too well that she's not at par with funke akinele funke akinele is just on her own lane she's a lane minder she's on her own Tony Ibrahim is nowhere close and all this episode is just not genuine, it's just not real. There have been so many deliberations here and there on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook and several other social media platforms. Ground it all, Badoski and Yola Badmos herself took to her Instagram page to cheer a write-up, although she didn't mention anyone's name. But we all know that this write-up didn't just come out of the blue. In our words, she said, and I quote, A lot of write-ups and epistles I see on social media, and all I feel like typing is they play. Some people are saying Enila Badmos is just pain because Tony Bram didn't mention her name or she's not in the league of those women who are topping the chat in the Nollywood industry. Of course, we all know that Enila Badmos is now the firstborn of Nigeria. She's into politics and we rarely see her in movies these days well back to tony ibram people have different opinion about her post but majorly people think it's not necessary you know it too well that you are not on the same level with akinele funky akinele is way higher than you she's way bigger than you in every ramification so to think that you want to compare yourself with funky akinele is actually an insult and someone also mentioned that that post is not a genuine post just an eye service post it's not necessary with the kind of response given by funky akinele it was not quite a reaction and it's quite demeaning it is not longer news that your beef dates back from only god knows when as Tony abraham herself shared in the epistle recalling that Tony abraham had once said that fuka kinele is a senior in this industry it's quite a shock for some people to think that she will now put herself on the same level with funka kinele spelling out their achievements and trying to place it side by side Tony abraham who also mentioned in her right up saying that she was stopping box office before Funky Akinele. Well, a lot of people find this hard to believe or accept because it is believed that Funky Akinele is quite big. Two years back, Tony Abraham could be heard in an interview when she was asked about a beef with Funky Akinele. She went ahead to let the world know that, yes, forget everything you see on social media. Funky and I speak. She's my colleague. She's my senior colleague and someone that I respect and look up to. And if I see her outside, I go and greet her, say hello to her, and forget everything you see on social media. We actually do talk. In our words, and I quote, Tony Abraham said, She's my senior colleague and she's someone I respect a lot. So I do not know what people are talking about. Trust me, she's one of the few people I look up to. Sometimes people do not understand that we are colleagues and not family. So you cannot be talking to all your colleagues. We talk, we follow each other. If I see her, I will kneel down and say, Auntie Funke, she wa okay. Meaning, Auntie Funke, are you okay? A lot of people do not understand that we are working in the same space. We do not have to be close friends. When we see ourselves, we greet each other. Forget social media. Trust me. And quote, this was Tony Abraham sharing this. Now, to now compare ourselves with Funke was what got fans questioning Tony's point of view after she shared that post on social media. Funke clearly has been alleged severally to have tried to sabotage Tony Abraham's work. Bribing a movie critic called Cinema Pointer to terribly criticize Tony Abraham's movie and try to divert people's attention to watch Funke Akindele's movie. But to the surprise of many just last year, they decided to wish each other happy birthday. And this got tongues waggling and people talking on social media. A lot of their fans were really happy to see that these two squashed their beef, set their differences aside and decided to wish 
each other a happy birthday. Starting with Fukiakidele, she said, Happy birthday to him, baby. Mommy Rolua, here is wishing you long life and good health and wealth. Have fun, dear, at Toyin Abraham. And of course, Toyin Abraham also reciprocated love. But in recent times, Funky Akinele already made it clear that the sky is large and wide enough for birds to fly without them touching each other. And in our words, after so many back and forth, she said on Twitter saying, Chop your own and I chop my own. The sky is so big for every bird with feet also to fly and chop their own. No, they look another man own for evil. You feel admire and pray for your own to come, but no, they envy now waste of energy. This was from Kakinele sharing this just last year when they released their movies at the same time. A tribe called Judah Malaika and Ada Omodadi all released last year, December, and fans were torn between which movie to watch and where should they go first. Well, here are some reactions in the comment section after Badoski. And Ella bad ones she had also shown media that is just cheap publicity with all this episode a user said but we saw your comments on that the post asking her why didn't she put your name so that's what is pinning you another user said this post is not about twin another user said if no be phone care will be in your la all the best for you Another user said, hmm, imagine, this is exactly what she's talking about in her page to competitors and gossipers. Another user said, why is Eniola always bitter and against unity? Madam, you should embrace unity and stand for friendship and not enmity. And here are other reactions after people debated on the top shared by Tony Abraham. A user said in the comment section, you guys are talking in the rubbish. Overtaking is allowed. Let Auntie Funke enjoy her blessing. Don't use your mouth to spoil things for her. Other females in the movie industry are also doing their best and praying for grace. Una too like nonsense talk. Another user said, please shut up and stop foiling rubbish. They are both on their own level and doing very well there. Another user said, you don't think her post was genuine because you know her heart and her intentions. Like, why? What happened to constructive criticism? Unhealthy competition exists because of people like this. All of this is so unnecessary. This and several other comments were filled in the comment section as people deliberate on the matter of Tony sharing a post on social media. Well, guys, there you have it. Let's hear it. Do you think it was not necessary for Tony Abraham to write the right up and saying that there shouldn't be competition or enmity between them? Or it was something that was worth making the effort. Let's hear it in the comment section. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.